the same. And we find that the experience that Jacob had was only possible because of the Holy Spirit. Because of the Holy Spirit. Why because of the Holy Spirit? Because we read in Hebrews chapter 9, Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 14, that the cross of Christ, his sacrifice was done through the eternal spirit. And this is also shown in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 16. If we turn there, again to read Revelation chapter 5 and verse 16. And verse 6, Revelation chapter 5 and verse 6. And we read, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven eyes, so having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. So we have in heaven, we have the throne. And in that throne, in the midst of the throne, is the lamb slain. And the eyes of that lamb was the spirit. Spirit. And we found that according to Revelation chapter 13, Revelation 13 and verse 8, that this was the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. So here we just have Revelation chapter 5 and verse 6. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 6 and Revelation 13 verse 8. But when we read Revelation, which is a revelation of Jesus Christ, we find also at the end of the book of Revelation that at the end of the world, the Lamb is also there. So we find that this throne, the Lamb and the Spirit also is at the end of the world. And we discovered that the Lord is not bound by time. He that was and is and is to come and the seven spirits Sent into all the earth. And that was Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 4 and verse 8. Because Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the I am. When Abraham was, I am. And in the future, he is And so the only way that the patriarchs could experience Jesus Christ is for the Holy Spirit, for, this, for the cross of Christ to be put to the throne of God where the Lamb was slain and for the Spirit to take it to the patriarchs outside of time. Abraham also received. He saw Christ's day and was glad. He saw the cross of Christ. Moses esteemed the cross of Christ greater riches, the approach of Christ greater riches than all of Egypt. And for him to esteem or to evaluate that, he needed to experience it. And so we, we have the 
way to heaven starts off by experiencing the cross of Christ. Now for us to experience the cross of Christ, Christ needed to experience us. And we found in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4, that we were in him before the foundation of the world. His book, the book of the book of life, which has information had our members written in that book before we were born. And in Psalms, David declares that when I was wrought in the depths of the earth and you saw my substance, and before it was even there, it was written in the book. So we've, we see that time is not an issue for God. And the cross of Christ was the download, if you like. So here, Adam's curse, Jacob's sin, Moses' sin, the whole world's sin was laid upon Jesus. Past, present and future was all bundled together and put in the bosom of of Jesus Christ. And so we have here the book. And what does a book hold? Information. Okay. This is the book of life. What Christ bore on the cross, we need to understand. And Genesis chapter 3, let us turn our Bibles to Genesis chapter 3 and verse 6 to 10. Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 to 10. And here, the devil is coming to Eve. And the devil tempted Eve with his reasoning. And then in verse 6, And when the woman saw the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And then verse 10, and he said, verse 9, sorry, And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. So we find here that man was created with honor and glory. But then the devil came to man's mind, the neurological pathways of the man, pure, and he presented to man his, the devil's, mind to man. And as Eve listened to the serpent and resigned herself to the devil's reasoning, she saw things differently. Her vision, her mental functions changed. And there came the nature of the devil. So we have in man devil slash human. And the mind changed in the way of strife and vain glory. 
these two things sums up the carnal mind. Vain glory in that there is some pleasure, there is some wisdom to be gained, there's some goodness here. But then when God comes, they're enemies. He runs away. So.